Today, we're going to be introducing what's called the Couple Project. It's C-U-P-P-E-L. It stands for Controlling Unwanted Phosphorus and Pollution Entering the Lakes. Now, you'll get to memorize that because that'll be up on the website, and you'll hear a lot about this in the next two years. It's been no secret to most residents here that the biggest environmental challenge we have is basically unfiltered water flowing into the lake from the roads, from the subdivisions, the campsites, and everything. This has been a major source of pollutants entering the lake and continues to be. What probably is not as widely known is the pollutants and phosphorus from Musselman's Lake continue to flow through various water connections, river, rivers and tributaries to Lake Simcoe itself. Everything we do at Musselman's Lake impacts a much bigger area than quite frankly even I realized. The problem up until now has been conventional filtration systems are just too expensive to install. They take up a lot of land and then are very expensive to maintain. Multiple solutions to any problem and all it takes is outside of the box thinking to come up with a simple solution. And that's where Dan Heron, Dan, and Kyle Jenkin. These guys are the brains behind the couple project. Now what Dan and Kyle accomplished over the fall and winter to develop the couple project was first of all, they had to discuss the science and the project with the LSRCA. They had to create a plan. They had to develop executional details. They had to establish timelines and measurables. They had to apply for funding from business and government. They had to make a detailed written presentation with all these details to the Federal Ministry of the Environment for major funding. The best part of this is after countless hours of mind-numbing work, their presentation was successful. And that's why everyone's here today. Together with the LSRCA, they have come up with an ingenious plan of a series of nine natural low-cost filtration systems to help cut pollutants and phosphorus by as much as 50% from the source to the lake. Now let me turn the mic over to Dan Heron. Dan is the MLRA couple project manager and he'll explain how it works. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Rick. So the, yeah, as Rick said, this started about six months ago, and one of the things, I've lived in here for about nine years, and we've talked a lot about cleaning up the lake, and we have the annual cleanup where we get a lot of the garbage out, but every day when it rains, the water, the pollutants, all run down into the lake unfiltered, and that's causing one of the biggest issues, like the weeds and, and the high phosphate levels in the water, and so as a result, something needs to be done about that. So six months ago, Kyle and I were talking about what are we gonna do? And we came up with this idea, for really simple, from a little newspaper article, uh, saying that there is some funding out there to clean up the lakes. And so that started us off. Uh, we started doing our research, we started looking around the lake, all different ways to do it, talking with Lake Simcoe Region Conservation Authority, they were great help with that. And uh, we've also met some of the people from Ministry of Natural Resources. They've also helped us. And basically we came up with this idea and now it's actually happening. And it's pretty amazing to see the community that we have here and how passionate people were when we were walking around the lake, um, when we started introducing why we were there and, and how enthusiastic people are and what, how passionate they are about the lake and how they want to keep it um, continuing the way it is and it's great now to see this happening so that's about all I have to say and I guess Rick you'll hear a lot more yes so once again there are nine sites around the lake we chose um, there are 12 catchments um, so we're not going to capture everything in the next two years um, but this is a, definitely a great start now to the man who needs no introduction, Mr. Kyle Jenkins of Cedar Beach. Before I turn over the microphone, I just want to say how grateful we are for such a progressive management owner team. Whenever we need a place to meet, to hold a fundraising dance, 
the annual winter carnival, a place to hold the Earth Day, always no problem and always no charge. Talk about local business stepping up to the plate. On the, on the couple project, Kyle has not only worked with Dan to develop the project, but he has volunteered $50,000 in kind for using his equipment and his men. Whatever he, we need to get this project done, Kyle has volunteered. And I just think it's, it's just fantastic. It says, do do the town sets. Unbelievable. And uh, he sure is unbelievable. But what this project is going to prove is that we can have two levels of government, a local business, active residence group, come together in a spirit of cooperation. We, first of all, can conceive and develop a major environmental project. We can manage a project successfully. And probably most importantly, in these harsh economic times, we can do it cost effectively. Now, Kyle's going to step up here and explain how you, the residents, fit into this plan. Thanks. Okay, the key to this project is community. And what I've got here is a sign up book. <laughs> what I need is a list of names and some contact information off all of you if you're willing to volunteer in this project. It, it can be volunteer in any scope. Help out with the permit process, help out, help out drawing the diagrams we have to draw, help out planning the plants, help out doing the, uh, the excavation. Whatever skills you've got, we're going to jot down. Whatever you're willing to do, we're going to jot down. You just see me on the table on the side when we're done, and uh, I will be sure to contact you, I promise.